it is difficult to convince machine learning students while they are learning support vector machines that uh, SVM kernels can transform non-linearly separable data into linearly separable data uh, by projecting in the data points into higher dimensional space. Uh, but Zor is such an interesting problem when you show this kind of visualization it becomes easier and convincing. So here in this screen I am uh, I have plotted this Zor data. So Zor is a very interesting problem as we can see that there are two classes and two classes are not linearly separable. Classes here in this graph are shown in blue dot and red dot. So here we can see we cannot find any line that can separate these two classes perfectly. Uh, but once you project this data into higher dimensional space, it becomes linearly separable. So here it is how, how it is done. So right now the graph is in 2D. But once you add another dimension to this graph or you show uh, this sort problem in 3D, you can see that it's bec it becomes really easily linearly separable by any hyper hyperplane. Uh, so here you can see now I have added third dimension, and this red dots and this blue dots can easily be separated by a, a hyperplane over here. Let's say hyperplane can be here, it can be here, and it can separate data linearly. So this is what is called kernel trick and this is uh, by projecting data into higher dimensional space problem become easier and it can be linearly separated.